hi, my name is Jay and for today's video I am going to share all the small things I miss about Disneyland. <laughs> to be an annual pass holder. I can't believe I have to say, yes, I used to be an annual pass holder. I used to have my pass. I used to be able to go to Disneyland whenever I wanted. Um, now I'm a legacy pass holder, which means, I don't know, does, I don't know what it means. Um, but ever since Disneyland closed, I have really really truly missed it so much and I'm gonna re-emphasize in the grand scheme of things yes it doesn't really matter it doesn't matter that this is closed because we need to all stay safe and you know just go through this pandemic as a whole country and get through it uh, but it doesn't mean that I can't miss things and you know reminisce about all the good times that we've had at Disneyland. And as someone that frequented Disneyland and really just went there to eat and people watch and have a good time, um, there are a lot of small things about it that I miss. Um, obviously I miss Disneyland as a whole. I just miss, you know, the people and the cast members and the rides and the food and all of that. But there are so many small things that I miss that I wanted to share with all of you um, so that, you know, we could come back to Disneyland and just, you know, think about it and dream of, you know, times past. I've got my list here, so let's go ahead and get into it. The first thing that I wrote is sitting and people watching. Um, again, one of the main things that I love doing at Disneyland, um, you know, instead of like eating and, you know, just sitting, um, is sitting and people watching. I loved just you know, buying like a snack or like a drink and then just sitting at a table or sitting at a bench or just sitting anywhere um, or even, you know, on times where we're like, we're tired, let's take a break. Um, and then we just sit somewhere and just like look at people or just kind of sit and be at peace. Those are really the moments that I miss. I love watching people and watching families and listening in on conversations and just, you know, being with people. Um, the other thing I miss is asking where we're going to eat um, slash deciding which park to go first because it would kind of go hand in hand. So when my cousin and I go to Disneyland, we basically plan our Disney day around where we're going to eat. Um, so if we have like a reservation or there's something that we want to try or um, there's, you know, some certain restaurant that we want to go to, then we'll go ahead and like go there first, go to that certain park first. Because usually by the time we get to Disneyland, we're hungry. <laughs> so we eat like breakfast slash lunch sort of situation, brunch, but not brunch, you know? Um, and we would always either, we know where we're going to eat or we don't know where we're going to eat, so we're like, eh, where should we go first? Which park are we gonna go to first is basically like one of the first questions that we ask when we get there. And for the most part, the first park is always DCA because Disneyland, we'd be like, oh, let's see, which park should we go to first? There's a line at Disneyland, we're going to DCA, <laughs> is where we would kind of pivot. Um, like we would usually spend our time at DCAs in the mornings and then at night we'll go to Disneyland because all the kids go home at night. <laughs> the other thing I miss is food adventuring. Like I said, I spend my time sitting and eating at Disneyland because there's always a new food going on. Either there's some festival or there's like some sort of event and they have like special foods or there's like a new movie or some sort of seasonal item and they have like a food or a drink that's going along with it. So there's always something new at Disneyland and we'll always like try those. Um, we want to try like every single restaurant and every single spot at Disneyland so we you know, during our years of having the annual pass, we would like go to every place and try something new there and make videos about it. And I really miss that. Walking around DCA with a drink in hand. Oh boy. I, first of all, I just miss like walking around with a drink like anywhere. Like one time I went to the grocery store, but beforehand I got a Starbucks drink 
and then I realized I couldn't bring my Starbucks drink while I was at the grocery store because that would involve either me taking off my mask or doing that thing where you put the straw uh, behind your mask while you're walking and that's just not a good time. Um, so I just miss being able to go places and walk around and like chat and drink you know while you go to a certain place. In DCA you can walk around with alcoholic beverages and have a good time. Um, so I really miss that. Next thing is admiring people's clothes. One of the things I love about Disneyland is how freeing it is there because you can wear whatever it is that you want and people just wear the most like fun, extravagant, real cool clothes. Um, I love seeing, you know, their beautiful dresses or like when people are Disney bounding and I can spot it and I can be like, ah, oh, Rapunzel, ah, oh, Jafar, like that sort of thing is so cool to me. Um, and one of the things I really miss about Disneyland. Next thing I miss is getting compliments on like if I'm wearing like certain ears or um, the clothes that I wear. Again, like when I see clothes that people wear that I really love, I'll be like, you have the coolest thing going on or like, oh, I love your ears. And obviously I love getting those compliments back, especially since um, I really love um, wearing like small business ears or things that I find on Etsy and I'll be like, oh, this is where I got it. Um, you know, and sharing that magic and sharing that fun with other people. Cast members providing Disney magic. I love, 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 love the cast members and it's truly... The entire experience at Disneyland is made possible because of all the cast members. And I really love like those hidden moments of like cast members that are just like super, super nice or like the cast members that like make those like paintings with water like on the floor or when they're like sweeping up leaves and then they make it into like a Mickey Mouse shape and it's it's just those like small things that make me really really happy. Next thing is watching little kids eyes light up when they see like Disney magic when they see like a certain character or when they see balloons or just like they're like called up for like an experience with like some Disney um, cast members like stuff like that. It just Disneyland is obviously like for kids and for adults but like there's something about kids like watching them like when they're like so happy it's just it makes me happy and it also makes me cry a little hi <sighs> yeah that's what I miss um the other thing I wrote is the trail of white dust around the mint julep bar where you get the beignets I miss that area so much because you can smell the beignets you can see the trail of dust on the floor and you know it's time for beignets. You know you are close to the place where you can get delicious, warm, Mickey Mouse shaped beignets and then when you get it, you shake that bag and then you just add to the trail of pixie dust, beignet dust, powdered sugar um, in that area. So that's fun. Seeing that a ride is five minutes wait time, so you ride it. Um, I don't really go to Disneyland for the rides. There have been days where my cousin and I have gone and we'll spend the entire day just like sitting and walking around, shopping, eating, and then we're like, oh, we should probably go on a ride maybe. Yeah, let's go. So we'll like look for a ride that's five minutes or like even like on an off day at Disneyland where there's not a lot of people and then the ride is five minutes and we're like, oh, let's go, yeah. That's, that's fun. And then the last thing I wrote is planning what foods to eat during food festivals. Um, there are several food festivals that happen throughout the year at DCA. They have the Food and Wine Festival, which is the major one. Um, they have the Festival of Holidays. And then during Lunar New Year, they also have their food festival during that time as well. And I really, really miss like looking through the lists online once they release it. And then my cousin and I will make a like color-coded like fun list of all the foods that we want to try. <sighs> I spend like an entire like 30 minutes to an hour like going through everything and then you know bringing my list with us when we go and eat for the day. So yeah that is it for today's video. In the comments section down below let me know what small thing you miss about Disneyland um, or just something you miss about pre pre-COVID. <laughs> Alright, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time with a brand new video. Bye!